Hi, this is Martina and Jackie from Emo Girls Hawk and MeVO.com, and we're getting ready to interview Escape the Fate. Are you guys ready for this? It's going to be a hell of an interview. here with Craig and Max from Escape the Fate. Hi guys, how are What's you doing today? On? Pretty good, pretty good. How are you doing? Pretty good. So this is your first U.S. Um, headliner tour, right, since you joined the band, is that yes, right? Yes, how does yes. it feel to be in the center of the show? Um, actually, it feels pretty good to finally be able to do a headliner and, uh, you know, really see how well, how well we've been working together and see how it's affected other people and it's been going better than we thought, so. That's good. And you guys are doing Warp this year, right? Yeah, we're on the whole Warp Tour this year. And you, you like the whole concept of Warp Tour? I love Warp Tour. It's like a huge band camp. Yeah. Right? It's like, it's like summer camp for bands. It's <laughs> yeah, awesome. It's awesome. It is awesome. It's I like can't a whole wait day for it. Yeah. yeah. Where is your favorite place you've been on tour so far? Um, to be completely honest, personally, I'd have to say Chicago at the House of Blues. Oh, not SF? Had to have been <laughs> the best show so far. I don't know. I haven't played yet. So I guess we'll see. Yeah. But Chicago House of Blues was definitely one of the one of the more memorable ones on this tour so far. What would you say? So, um, personally, I love Florida. Like best best places were in Florida, definitely for me. Yeah, yeah just all of Florida for Max. <laughs> if there was any place that you could tour that you haven't been to yet, where would that be? Japan. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Japan, dude. Japan? Yeah. yeah, Japan for <laughs> sure. Cool. Is there any place you wouldn't want to go in the world? Wouldn't want to go. Um, Afghanistan. Um, who are your biggest musical influences? Uh, what are yours? All right, personally, mine, um, the dude Dro Joe Troy, that bass player from the Arx Bandits, been one of my favorite bands since I was younger. Uh, Manson, and honestly, it sounds kind of sounds kind of weird, but Leonard Skinnerd. Cool. <laughs> I got a T-shirt from him. <laughs> my uh, my vocal influences, I'd have to say Steven Tyler, Aerosmith, uh, Chester Bennington, Linkin Park. And uh, Burt McCracken kind of broke me into the kind of underground love screamo Bert. scene. So, so you know those, he got throat those are surgery. Influences. Bert. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, that's I crazy. Heard, yeah. Hope you don't need that because you're probably doing it correctly, right? From the diaphragm. I have no. I, I hope so. <laughs> I hope, <laughs> I hope so too. Everybody <laughs> says you can feel it here, man, and I'm just like, oh, okay. Isn't your throat I think sore I'm doing after right. screaming all night? Not anymore, no. no. So maybe, maybe I started doing it right, I guess, <laughs> or I'm immune. Maybe I learned the secret. Maybe <laughs> I learned. Teach me how to scream. Maybe. <laughs> Oh no, not everybody can have a secret, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the secret of Craig Mavitt. <laughs> <laughs> so if you weren't a musician, what would you be? Ooh. <laughs> Anything in the world. I don't know, my two main things I wanted to be when I was growing up was either an actor or be in a band. So if I wasn't in a band right now, and I'd have to say maybe I'd be on my way to being an actor. Have you taken acting lessons before? Uh, no. No lessons. Used to do some things in theater, things like that, but that's about it. I'd, uh, I used to want to be an actor also, and I wanted to be a professional soccer player. Yep. Are you good at soccer? I'm really fucking good at soccer, actually. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm also a little drunk right now. <laughs> We should have a soccer ball and we see how good you kick it around in your drunk. Max knows how to kick balls, that's what he's trying to tell you guys. <laughs> Alright, so how about we play one word associations where I give you a phrase or something and you give me the first word that comes to mind. How does that sound? Ooh. Good? I've never done All right. this. Alright, this is gonna be fun then. Okay. Alright. Britney Spears. Bald. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Barack Obama. Awesome. <laughs> Hope. <laughs> there you go. Um, interviews. Shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Questions? Um, MySpace and Facebook. Pictures. Over it. <laughs> Pictures, that's what I think of. Um, <coughs> tours in general. Fun. Money? <laughs> <laughs> that's a nice one. Gilly, said that. <laughs> There's Alcohol. There's none. <laughs> Alcohol, good times. Drunk, good times. <laughs> Celebrity crush. Ooh. Good. Lily Allen. Ah, uh, fuck, I forgot her name. My friend Rachel I looks love, just like Lily Allen. I love way. Lily Allen. <laughs> if if, if this interview goes anywhere and Lily Allen sees this, 
You know, I Lily originally Allen. saw that on the cover of her magazine, she's looking for a nice young boy. <laughs> I'm nice, I'm young, I'm a boy. And he's handsome. It's all three, baby. Come on, Lily Allen. What about you, Max? Come on. Um, okay, it's the girl from High School Musical. I think her name's... Vanessa Hudgens. Vanessa Hudgens. Hudgens. Oh no! Oh we my God! We just got done. We just us? got done touring yeah. Europe. <laughs> Max is in love with that dance song she has. Oh no! In love with it. All right, now I'm gonna bring up a phrase you might not like too much, but you guys have to still give me a word, okay? Ronnie Radke. Prison. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say hope, hope? because That's a good one. because I knew him beforehand. Obama. And I know him now, and I hope that fucking he. I think this is the best place for him, and I hope that he gets better and comes back to reality. I'm I'm glad you think that way. I, I hope so. so too. Honestly. Oh, there goes gravity. Oh, there goes gravity. Won't give up, Daddy. <laughs> hey, Maya, you know. Those won't. <laughs> we start rapping right here. He won't okay, give up. He won't thing. give up. Keep an eye out. My one of my listeners, Kara. Say hi to Kara for me. What up, Kara? She loves you guys. She's going down. actually right now. Yeah? She wants to know if you could have any like mini pet, what would it be? Like a mini person, a mini elephant? I'd say I'd have a mini, probably like a mini human. Just because we're so smart, I could probably get that mini me to do whatever I wanted. That would be really cool. Build many things, many towns, like Indian in the cupboard. <laughs> a mini Indian, that's what I want, a mini Indian. I want to have a mini Christopher Walken, just so he could say a bunch of cool shit in my <laughs> ear all day. And dance, right? And dance like that video. <laughs> He's down here, let me ask you something. Does your mother sew? <laughs> yeah. Boom! Get her to sew that! Yeah. That would okay, be awesome. Okay, one more thing. Give me your best scream. My best scream? Try not to blow out the mic. Yeah, don't be like Burt McCracken. But you, know. <laughs> you know what? No! <laughs> Do it. Do it. Whoa! Whoa! That scared me away. <laughs> Jesus. You're welcome. Thank you for interviewing us. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys inside. Word. Later. What's up? You're hanging out with Craig and Max from Escape the Fate, and you're watching Emo Girl Talk. Woo! Talk it up, girls! <laughs>